Hello everybody, welcome to another Valheim video. Today I am here with Hilly and Ray from Arena World. How are you both doing? Hey JP, how you doing? Hello JP, hello YouTube. Yeah, we're doing well, <laughs> doing a lot of stuff, uh, working on Arena World. And yeah, we're glad to have you here. Yeah man, super happy to have you here with us. Love your channel, love your work. So, Arena World is something we're about to learn a lot more about, and they've set up a really fantastic place that you can join and have experiences in, and in this video, you're going to learn all about how to do that. To get started, why don't, why don't one of you explain, like, what is this place? It looks crazy. So, Arena World is basically a, a gladiator park. You have all sorts of Valheim PvP and PvE game modes, available here actually more than 40 games that you can play uh, all of them are match based which means you get into the match together with people either as a team or solo by yourself and everything is already laid out for you the the mechanics the food the gear the rules and all you have to do is just hop in the fight so could you tell me a little bit about yourselves before we get started what do you both do here so we are a group of uh, free admins. Uh, myself, Ray, I'm the server owner. I started the server back in uh, 23, pretty much around the Mistlands time. Um, after a few months, I was joined by Healy, who is our master builder here. Yes, I'm <laughs> like the mind behind most of the uh, arenas. <laughs> I built uh, so many things uh, in it, uh, especially with the EVP stuff, you were able to boom in building and you have so many creative options to modify the games and you can try uh, new things out, which makes it very interesting for me to keep on going and also experimenting with new stuff. So you build the structures that are available in the matches and the things that we see? Yeah, exactly. All the yeah, most of the things uh, you see. Like uh, later on, we will show some more complex uh, places. Then uh, these are mostly built by me. We also have a third admin with us, uh, Papa Doc, uh, who is uh, a very experienced PvP player on the Valheim servers yeah. in general. He great joined fighter. us. Uh, also, yeah, great, great fighter. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he joined us uh, several months ago. Uh, he's not a builder, but he's more into the optimization, balancing, uh, giving tips, and just a general view of how the PvP can look like in the best way based on his experience. So all three of us, we, we complete each other in that sense. Uh, also, balancing is a lot of work because, uh, well, you have to make a game fun, obviously. And to make it fun, there has to be balance, fairness, uh, and, a, and a good mix of um, skills, some luck, some uh, challenge, uh, and uh, avoid any frustrations for the player. It's a lot of thought that gets put into every game in, in order to make it seamless and smooth for the player to want to come back to again. We have to think how to make it easy for the player to get into Valheim PvP. Um, as you can tell, it's all portals in here. There's a few arenas where we are, like this one next to me. But it's mostly portals, so... How do we make the experience seem like you're in a lobby, like in other games, and you just get in, and there is the game, it's laid out for you. Start playing. Let's go. So all three of us are always thinking about new ways to optimize this and make the server work for people. You've all taken the culture of Valheim and made a way to have PvP by building PvP games together in Valheim. Exactly. Which is... It's awesome! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. We love it. Uh, I always love PvP uh, in many games. Uh, I like to build things. Alright, so now we have our first demonstration. This is one of their much more simple game types called the Spike Ring. So. What's going on here? I, c I can see that you're stabbing each other. Yeah. Like what PvP is about. You try to kill your opponent. Having a good yeah. fight. So you can see we're in, we're in a ring that is surrounded by spikes. So basically if you get 
pushed over into one of them, you're gonna ping pong yourself oh. just like Hilly did right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so things can turn out very fast. No! Yeah, oh, <laughs> DJ, man. Nice. yeah so it's like a very quick arena. Uh, the matches don't last very long. Uh, but if you have like four or five people in here, it's complete chaos and it's really fun. And uh, it's a great arena in the lobby to have because usually people are just waiting for other games to start because people are joining, etc. Um, and just a nice way to pass the time until you start another game. In every game mode on the server, um, you have your gear and food provided in this chest. Uh, and this automatic healing, just like I had now spawn on me. Uh, in this arena, there is no armor. It's meant to be a fast arena. So it's just, you choose a mace or a headgear in this case. Uh, you also get automatic rested buff. So once a player comes onto the platform, it takes him five seconds to be ready for battle. But that's just how it is on our server on every game. Convenience. Get into the platform or the, the lobby of that game and... Get in straight away, no waiting time. Uh, I can show you. I mean, maybe a better example with a more complex game. It's actually a PVE game that we're going to see. We're right next to it. Uh, the Convoy Quest. It's a a new game on our server. Uh, it's like a PVE challenge where you have to carry a cart throughout uh, a fallen city full of uh, respawning undead. Right. So we are in the spawn area of Convoy Quest. Right, so this is a PvE game, um, but the mechanic is the same. You see we have here four different classes that the player can choose from. You have this Witch Hunter, Bulwark, it's like a tank, a Berserker, Cleric. And all you have to do is to punch one of these wards. And it already gives you all of the gear that you need. Uh, whatever food, items, gear... And, and this way, each class has a different gameplay. You're now equipping the Witch Hunter, which is like a single target guy. He has a very high level crossbow. He has a, a, a Chrome. I'm a Berserker, so I'm very good with the, with the AoE stuff. AoE melee, right? I have the Battle Axe. I have this. Healy right here is a tank. And of course, we claim a bed in order to respawn when we die. We have a quick explanation of the, the game in here. And let's just go up to see how it starts. And once you go in there, you're in the wild. And monsters just keep spawning on you. And uh, it's really chaotic and intense. And it has different challenges that you have to solve in order to make it through. It's not just hack and slash. Uh, so yeah, we also have PvE games in here. It's not all uh, uh, tournaments and uh, sieges, right? Yeah, I have to say uh, thanks to a very dear person, uh, Raka who is uh, doing many things for the Expand World, World Edit uh, community, Valheim Editing in general. Uh, many of the scripts that work on the server are really thanks to him. Uh, also this class world. We designed it together and, it, and it's awesome how much he contributed. Uh, in general, not just to us, he helps lots of servers, lots of people. Uh, also Dakar. And uh, all the other guys from the community have been a lot of help. We couldn't do this by ourselves. We are not uh, programmers. <laughs> so what we have here is one of our C games. It's called Drakkar War. It's pretty new. Um, it's also a good example of how to use script to automate things and make them more smooth. So if you open your map, you see that we are in uh, an indent uh, water lake. And we have four different bases. And it's basically a, a match between four teams, two teams, three teams, whatever people there are. And you have this one class here, the Sailor. Right? You can also punch the other one. And what you're getting here is customized gear. We have a cannon, for example. We have uh, a sniper gun. We have the sailor gun, stun grenades. But let's actually show how it works. So if I take this tuner right here, I can attach it to this item stand and it spawns the boat for me. Ah, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> and I can use this gun to drop a circling on the boat.
Right. So if we get back to this game that we're in, uh, you might think, oh, this is just about blasting each other with chips. Well, apparently not, because in many of our games, you can play different game modes within a game mode. It's a bit difficult to, to show it right now in, in our interview. But let's say that I got this uh, rum. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, the it's tasty rum. rum. Yeah, so we have a game mode where the teams are competing to collect the rum and extract them back to base while they're fighting each other. I accidentally drank my rum before it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you need another one? <laughs> so we put the rum in the chest. Ah, that's really cool. And then it scores cool. a point. Yes, and then let's say that I want to see the scoreboard. So all I have to do is to type in chat uh, booty score. <laughs> I see it. There's some a Very few points. Cool. It's five points because there was some points from before, right? Uh, well, before you came. But I can just do this reset, and it resets. And then you can play for a time limit, uh, different scripts. It's uh, still in development. We are improving this game. It's pretty new. Uh, but you see, you can really create the impression of uh, like a real lobby-based game. Inside Valheim Plus, it can be creative and immersive and fun and, and inspiring. I think it inspires people to do things on their own servers because lots of people want to do PvP stuff, but they don't know how or they end up doing some kind of a basic arena. Um, and this server is really about sh showing you what is possible. So it's basically the, the, the largest game on the server, right? It's called Onslaught, Ashland Siege. It's played between uh, attackers and defenders. Quite a large map, so it takes minimum, let's say, eight people for it to be playable. Uh, we played it before with uh, 14 players. So the, the, the unique thing here is that the, the castle, the fortress, is actually destructible. Uh, most of it, unlike other games that are indestructible. 50% of the fun is, how do you destroy them? Or I see you've learned already. <laughs> straight for the thing so here the classes are really uh, complementing each other like you have the warrior, ranger and battle mage uh, one player plays as the captain he's a little bit more OP than the others we, we have the, the final objective was of protecting the dragon eggs which we will show later let's start with the outer walls here so you're right now inside the fortress at the very front of it And this is the fortress. From here, from this side, you can see better. So epic. This place is crazy. <laughs> yeah, this is like really a match when you want to uh, hold a big siege and have people a great fight. It is amazing. It's like what people dream about when they were thinking of Ashland's sieges. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm, I think people who are now watching this on YouTube, they're not really sure what they're seeing. I mean, they see that, oh, the build looks nice, I mean, it's immersive, but what are we actually seeing here? Uh, and there is a lot going on. It's a game that you actually have to play a full match to understand all of its mechanics. Uh, for example, you saw now that there was uh, these bolts on the ground. You probably picked some of them up. You can pick some of those, right? And then you have these towers with a ballista and players can reload these ballistas and and they shoot really quick you see and they, they just killed Hilly instantly yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right so it's an actual siege weapon not just a, a lazy ballista that shoots once every five seconds many more defenses we can use on this area let's let's go up uh, up a bit it's actually an artillery system it's a very simple script you just have to position it right look what happens now let's go to the walls. Oh, triggers. Yeah. Just setting them all on fire. <laughs> and it also hits That's the so siege cool. tower. You see they have catapults on the siege tower. They're going to use them to try and destroy the walls. So we hit them over there. So it kind of actually gives you a real battlefield simulation. And if you're the captain, you have to tell people, hey guys, they're on the left. I want artillery on the left. Plus you can use some custom weapons like 
big bow right here that I just picked up. And I can... Like this. Very epic. Let's see how it looks from the attacker's side. To get a proper sense of, of everything. Right, so the attackers, uh, they spawn on the ships. We have, we have multiple ships here. Um, and they have to find the best way to get into the castle. They can try multiple ways at once. Uh, their actual goal is to steal the dragon eggs. So once I secure a dragon egg, I can sort of like sacrifice it on this pedestal here. And it will score a point for me. Just like we saw before on the on the Drakkar War thing, you're gonna get the, the script that gives you a point. They basically start advancing and, and they have multiple ways, right? They have this uh, battering ram, of course, but it's going to be targeted. Uh, the defenders have this forward spawn here that we're going to try to destroy. It. And then you have all these siege towers. There's four of them. Uh, don't worry about these explosions. They are just effect. <laughs> these towers, I can just climb them up. They're already programmed to have uh, lots of firepower. Uh, let me give you some... Uh, some payloads, load many of them into the catapult. You see, it's multiple shots. So I, I can I can use that, of course, to slowly, gradually take down the walls. But down here, we have a secret weapon, which is called uh, the cart bomb. Now you have to handle this one with much care. It's basically like an exploding car. So what I can do with this one, I can just carry it all the way to the gate, to a piece of wall, once we have cleared the distance. Ah, that looks awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so imagine you have this situation where one player is running with this thing and the enemy defenders are trying to kill him because they see him carrying this bomb. All right, everybody. So what you've seen so far is actually only a few of these game types. As they mentioned, they have loads and loads and loads of them, way more than we could just fit into a video. Where where can they find you? Like, let's say somebody watching wants to get involved. Uh, what do they do? First of all, we have a YouTube channel, uh, which probably is in the description below this video, uh, where you can see lots of our game modes. There is also Discord links over there. And in this video, for sure, there is a Discord link. Uh, all you have to do is to hop in the Discord, um, see when is the next event. We are an event-based server because we want to get people together to play the games. To actually get on the server, all it takes is a mod pack, and it's very easy nowadays. You just install Thunderstore, that's my favorite one. Um, you type in Arena World in the search. It's already a mod pack, so you just install that mod pack and then you have all of our relevant mods. The mods are mostly about uti utility. It's a actually very casual uh, server. Uh, lots of people might be um, afraid, I want to say, uh, of joining Valheim PvP because it's very intense or they don't know how to do it. Uh, but here's the thing, we built this server to accommodate people for PvP. You don't have to come with uh, pre-established skills or experience. You can be a complete noob in PvP, and we will just show you how it works. You start with some simple arenas, you get the gameplay, and the more experience you gain, the, the more you can get into it. You can get into competitive tournaments, uh, championships, and things of the sort. Genuinely, I want people to come and enjoy, because this server has been up for a year and a half now. Even more than that. And uh, we had lots of people coming and going, and it's been so many great times on the server that's the reason it's still going uh sure it had its ups and downs uh i think every server does so we always have to reinvent ourselves and create new games that spark new interest in people uh because you can't keep playing the same stuff even if it's really great games um people want something new always um uh, and that's why it keeps going and I, th I think if people just be aware of what's out there, they'll definitely come. Because uh, I had a time of my life with people here playing those games. Because uh, if you really invest in these games and balance them right, make them fair so that nobody can complain about anything that is wrong or not working correctly, then people are free to enjoy and have fun. Just like in any other normal game. 
by the way, once you join in for the first time, uh, me and Hilly or Papa Doc, the third admin, or other players are just going to show you around. Uh, we are a very tight community. Uh, there is no like griefing or cheating, uh, trolling, etc. on this server. It never happens. Yeah. I swear, <laughs> it never yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah, we are really kind to each other also. Toxicity isn't a problem here because we are all that close together. And that's uh, why we are a community. Um, meeting up for having fun together in PvP scenarios. Exactly. So if you already took the step of getting the mod pack and hopping in, uh, you're one of us. You're interested in this. You want to shed some blood on Valheim, right? So it's all good. Uh, and we're going to show you around and uh, give you some basic uh, guidelines. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's been an absolute blast checking out Arena World and seeing some of the incredible things that they've done. And I'm sure we'll be making more content with them in the future. So keep updated, pay attention to their YouTube channel in particular if you want to learn more about all of this. And if you want to see more Valheim content, then like this video or any other video about Valheim. And until then, I hope that you have a great day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, JP.